Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Monday the 30th of September. Builders say government consenting reform could reduce costs for residential builds. The government's proposing overhauling the consenting process, saying there are inconsistencies across the country. Master Builders Chief Executive Anki Chama says it's caused delays and cost increases, so changes are good news. Ultimately, building houses better, faster and cheaper. Any change is a positive change from where we are today. Israel has launched airstrikes against another Iranian proxy group, the Houthi rebels in Yemen. It's killed Hezbollah's leader and other senior figures. Otago University professor of Middle Eastern and Comparative Politics, Leon Goldsmith, says he thinks Israel is trying to provoke Iran into a confrontation. I think that we're into some fairly serious regional escalation now. The government's considering options when it comes to getting value for money from the Dunedin hospital build. Tens of thousands of people took to the octagon over the weekend to protest the government's proposed cuts as it claims a $3 billion project blowout. Infrastructure Minister Chris Bishop says they're being diligent and rigorous. We need to assess whether or not it's worth going back out to the market and bear in mind that would add a long time to the hospital. So there's no easy options here. A second wave of strike actions underway for more than a 1,000 ambulance officers. First union members are withdrawing their labour for six-hour stretches until 4am tomorrow. The unions also launched a public petition calling for full government funding of New Zealand's ambulance services. National Ambulance Coordinator Faye McCann says a recent meeting with Australian counterparts has woken many members up to the state of our service. They know that they're paying staff better in Australia, they've got better working conditions, they need more staff and that basically they'll be wanting to attract New Zealanders over there to work for the ambulance service. St John reminds people ambulances will still be dispatched for medical emergencies. The death toll from Hurricane Helene continues to rise as US rescuers sift through the devastation. Inland flooding, the storm surge and wind damage has flooded neighbourhoods and destroyed homes. 64 people are confirmed dead and around 2 million people are still without power. An ad, believed to be New Zealand's first, created by artificial intelligence, halved the company's budget. The commercial for carpet maker Bremworth is part of a $2 million advertising campaign. Bremworth estimates using AI slashed production cost about 60%. Chief Brand and Product Officer Rochelle Flint says it makes a real difference. That 60% is very meaningful to small companies and if AI wasn't available to us, we wouldn't have had the budget to go on TV. To sport, debutants Paris Mason and Claire O'Brien have given honest critiques of the Silver Ferns series opening 59-58 loss to England in Auckland. Both were involved in a thrilling final quarter with England nudging ahead in the final 90 seconds. The emotions are flowing for Keegan Bradley after he clinched the United States a 10th straight triumph in golf's President's Cup. And Manchester United have produced yet another mediocre display, beaten 3-0 at home by Tottenham in football's Premier League. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB newsroom.